Today, we're gonna learn how to test batteries. Now, I know you might be thinking, well, you just set it to DC voltage. And you're correct, but also wrong. Because there's two different ways that batteries fail. The first one is, of course, low voltage, in which you can use your multimeter, set it to DC, measure across, and as long as you know what voltage your battery is supposed to be, for instance, this is supposed to be 12 volts, this measure's fine. But if I bring this other battery in, and I measure the DC voltage across it, it also measures 12 volts, but this battery failed. So why is that? Well, that's when you have to take into account the second way that a battery can fail, and that is a high internal resistance. So what happened here is this is a battery from a circuit with a charging cycle. So the battery voltage doesn't drop, so it reads okay, but over time, as it's charged and discharged, eventually the internal resistance has gotten too high, and this caused the battery to fail. So how do we test this? Well, that's when you need a battery tester. There is a way to do it with a multimeter, but that requires a resistance and a lot of math, so I bring in a tester. In this case, I have access to a Hioki battery tester. I'm extremely lucky for this. There is a lot of other battery testers out there, but this is the one that I'm fortunate enough to use. And so we're going to be taking a look at these two batteries with this one. Now we're looking at the two batteries. If I test the first one, all I have to do is press down, it gives me the voltage, and then it reads the internal resistance. And this one's fine. I move on to the next one. Voltage looks good, but as soon as the internal resistance pops up, you can see that it is a lot higher. Now these numbers might not make sense, but there is a chart that each manufacturer produces for their batteries that shows what the internal resistance is supposed to be at set temperatures. Because of course the resistance is going to be a lot different in colder temperatures than it is warmer. So now that we know the difference between good batteries and bad batteries and how to test the internal resistance, of course with a very expensive battery tester, I hope that this helped you out. I hope that you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.